Joining me now is Bill Lee. He's the chief economist at the Milken Institute, a think tank here in Washington. Uh, Bill, I want to begin with what we heard uh, from the U.S. Secretary of State Blinken on foreign policy as a whole. Um, he said the Biden administration will seek to change course from costly military interventions and policies aimed at regime change in other countries. He said U.S. interventions had given democracy promotion a bad name and lost the confidence of the American people. Wow. Okay, this is not something we've heard in a very long time. I think it's a recognition that foreign policy, going back to the Clinton era, uh, has really taken the mistaken course of trying to, to transform countries into democracies. Instead, I think it's a recognition that countries will transform themselves once they become more developed economically. And so strengthening domestic economies is really a high priority around the world, not just here in the United States, but also to helping other countries develop domestically as well. And, and developing their economies will also come with it the, the need for democratic reform. All right, let me move on to China, which Aroi touched upon. Our relationship with China will be competitive when it should be, collaborative when it can be, adversarial when it must be, and we will engage China from a position of strength. Anything new there? Oh, it's dramatically new in the sense that it's a recognition that in the last four years, and certainly in the last eight years since the, the Democrats were last in power, China's position in the world has really changed. China is now uh, an equal to the United States in many areas. And, and for us to collaborate in a world where technology integrates us together is absolutely a necessity to compete because we both want to be at the cutting edge of technology and also occasionally to be adversaries because we both have geo uh, geopolitical goals that may occasionally be in conflict. So these are challenges that are, are very new in the recognition of China's rise over the last eight and certainly last four years. Bill, how do you think Beijing is going to react or read it into these comments? I think Beijing uh, is going to sense a note of realism in the United States policy, uh, a sense of realism and also a hint of the desire to collaborate as much as possible. Because I think the one thing Secretary Blinken wants to, to assure the rest of the world is that while the United States wants to have a position of strength, it's strength with an open hand. Strength with an open hand meaning we want to be able to collaborate more than we want to have a clenched fist. Why does this relationship between the world's uh, two largest economies, why does it have to be adversarial? And that's a question really mostly for the Americans here. Well, there, there are geo, uh, geopolitical goals that China has expressed of wanting to extend its boundaries into the South China Seas, of, of different sorts of democracies and different uh, interpretations of rule of law and intellectual property protection. These are things that, that will be confronting each other as the two economies start to integrate and their technologies uh, could potentially clash, which is why it's so important to collaborate on setting a global trade framework and a global uh, framework for intellectual property exchange so that both sides are protected. All right, we'll leave it there. Bill Lee, as always, thank you.